This is a demonstration video showing the chemical synthesis of zinc sulfate by the chemical reaction between metallic zinc and sulfuric acid. The metallic zinc we've harvested from some scrap wheel balancing weights used on cars. Within these weights there is a small steel tab used to secure them to the car wheel. We've removed this using a hacksaw. Now we add our chopped up pieces of zinc to our reaction vessel. The reaction vessel, by the way, is connected using some rubber tubing to a gas bubbler, as we expect some gas to be produced when zinc metal reacts with sulfuric acid. Now using a small glass funnel, we add some sulfuric acid to our reaction vessel. The sulfuric acid, by the way, was harvested from a lead acid battery by filtering the electrolyte. Now with a bung fitted to our reaction vessel, you can clearly see some gas is being produced and it's bubbling through our bubbler. This gas, of course, is hydrogen. The chemical reaction which is taking place is that metallic zinc is reacting with sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. If we attach a balloon to the end of our bubbler, we can capture the hydrogen gas which is being produced And of course, hydrogen gas is less dense than air, so the balloon floats. Once all the sulfuric acid has reacted, this is indicated by no more bubbling and the presence of unreacted metallic zinc in the bottom of our reaction vessel, then we can filter our solution. As zinc sulfate is water soluble, filtering the solution will allow the zinc sulfate to pass through the filter whilst leaving behind all unreacted material. Zinc sulfate, when dissolved in water, is a clear, transparent liquid. To remove the water and leave behind the zinc sulfate, we pour our solution into an evaporation dish and allow the water to evaporate. We can speed up the evaporation of water using a hot plate, as elevated temperatures will help drive off the water. As water is removed, we will start to form some zinc sulfate crystals. And with a little more time for the water to evaporate, we start to form a dry powder, which is very easy to break apart into a finer powder, and this is a successful synthesis of our zinc sulphate. And the big question some of us may have been asking, what happens if you light a balloon full of hydrogen gas? Well, the obvious, it explodes! Thanks for watching.